hello in this video we are going to look at html block elements and inline elements so let's begin block elements these are elements that spend 100% with it of the of the browser and uh, inline elements they are the one which are spent only the part when it is maximally filled yeah i've wrote this an article about these block elements you can just follow that link below and go and read more about this block element so here i'm going to i'm just going to to concentrate on practical so for example i have uh, maybe my p tag my p tag and i put the word good morning uh, good morning and then i have the next another p tag next to it okay I put um, P. I put uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Nice day. And you can see it is uh, exactly they are exactly following each other. But when uh, we refresh, you can see this one then the one line and this one exactly on the other line. So those are what we call block elements. Those are what we call block elements. But if I use a uh, other well, other other uh, uh, tags like span you'll find that they are always in line they are always in line though it is um, a tag of HTML separate tag now uh, there is a uh, div and uh, a span we use div to format or to 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 organize our work in the what on the HTML page they don't add anything or reduce anything but all its work is just to create a structure for example, I'll write here my lorem. Okay, I'll first create my div, div, and then create the tab key. This is going to be a container that's going to control everything that is going to be between these lines. For example, if I put word lorem here, okay, then I go and run. Of course, uh, this word lorem is beginning from the first letter up to the last letter. But if I start formatting this div, it means that it has you can see here div did not add anything there's no any word that the word the tag of div has added so we can use this div to format our document for example if i now say style i say width okay width uh, is equal to 500 pixels uh, has then what is going to happen it means that this div this text will not go beyond 500 pixels and they've not added anything to it or reduced anything to it so that is a div we use it to format a certain block of elements uh, also span we use span to format a certain line or a certain element in line in a um, document for example if i want this beginning from here up to here should be a red color of course i will not create a div because a div is a block element and it's going to do what to block everything what i'll do i'll first cut it and then put span okay when you put span then in this first attribute you can use whatever you want to do it to format the next uh, uh, the elements uh, the values inside that span so if i put here style style and span is always in line i put style then i put uh, maybe color color to be uh, red okay then if you go and run if you go and i mean if you go and uh, execute this code you can see it is red but it did not change the line so that's the difference between div and span div is in line and everything remains in line after implementing but for the div it will create a what a block and div you do what you said it not to be creating a block of elements so basically uh, that's uh, all what you need about div and the uh, and span tags uh, if you want to la learn more about uh, this div and span tags please download that document in the description uh, then you learn more about uh, these span tags and uh, other block elements. Yes, so let us meet in the next video tutorial where we're going to look at the HTML forms, HTML forms, how we can get now information from the users. I hope you really learned.